Okay,、uh, welcome to another episode of、uh, this week in R, presented by the Hong Kong R User Group. And、uh, today is the eleventh of February. And、uh, actually, this is Hong Kong R User Group, and this is our、uh, Facebook page. And、uh, our machine learning for beginner training course is still recording. New students. So, if you want to join, you can still join it now. We will announce the admission decision in、uh, in the fifteenth of、uh, February. So,、uh, this week in our news include, okay,、uh, this is the、uh, blog post by、uh, David Smith, and、uh, he wrap up、uh, the、uh, project. Of the R consortium, R consortium is the industrial、uh, groups, okay, organized by uh, multiple uh, commercial entity com- company,、uh, which support the development of R, and、uh, they they have some funding for the various project,、uh, community project,、uh, for example. Okay, this is the、uh, this is the、uh, the project、uh, they have sponsored last week,、uh, last last year, and、uh, they are they are they are recruiting new 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 projects for this year, and、uh, so they run up、uh, the progress of the project last year, and、uh, for example, the R Hub,、uh, which is for、uh, testing the、um, R package online、uh, before. Submission to CRAN, and、uh, also the、uh, distributed computing project, which、uh, which have、uh, created a, 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 a package called a DDR, and also、uh, improvement in the DBI, and also the the, the documentation, and also the、uh, communities project. For example, the Saturday. It's a conference, a new conference, free conference, which is not like user,、uh, which is you need to pay. But、uh, Saturday is a free conference, and also support、uh, funding support to、uh, our user groups around the world. Oops, and、uh, yeah, pretty much. And、uh, if you want to know the latest de- development in R, sponsored by the R Consortium. You can click and、uh, watch this、uh, web seminar. You just enter your name and then register. They call it register, but I don't think it's a register. It's just try to collect your email and then you can watch that、uh, seminar. And the、uh, all all the project、uh, leader of these funded project will present the 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 the, the latest、uh, development. In their projects, so if you're interested, you can have a、uh, look.、Uh, the next news is about Reticulate. Okay, Reticulate, yeah,、uh, released by R Studio, is、uh, R interface to Python. I believe they create this package because they want to port、uh, TensorFlow, the、uh, machine, the the deep learning. Uh, framework from Google, and they want to port that TensorFlow from Python to R. So they create the、uh, Reticulate, and、uh, now they release it as a standalone、uh, package for R, so that you can use any、uh, Python module in R. And、uh, currently, it's still on GitHub, so、uh, it's not on Cran. Uh, but if you want to install it, you can use the、uh, Dev Tools, and、uh, it, it 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 can be installed from the、uh, GitHub. And I actually tried it, and I find it quite interesting. So、um, let me show you how it works.、Uh, you can use the Dev Tools、uh, to install it、uh, from GitHub using、uh, this command. Uh, but、uh, I have installed it, so I will not repeat it here. So after your installation, you can just require reticulate, and then use the import command. 
import function to import a module from Python. And uh, in this example, I will use sklearn. sklearn actually is, uh, is scikit-learn, okay? Scikit-learn. Scikit-learn is a machine learning module for Python. And uh, I will demonstrate how to use the uh, support vector machines provided by uh, scikit-learn from Python. And then I use it in R. So, uh, I will just import the sklearn, okay? And then it will import uh, uh, scikit-learn from Python and make it available uh, to R. So, if you know some R, well, no, uh, if you know some Python, you will know that, okay, in, uh, in Python, it's usually go like this, dot .svm and then dot .svc and then something like that, okay? But uh, in Reticulate, we modify those dots into a uh, dollar sign. So every time you see a dollar sign, a dot in, 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 in Python uh, module, you, you can just replace it with a uh, dollar sign and then just uh, uh, substitute it this way and then just use it okay let me let me show you how it works for example i i can uh, create a new new classifier uh, from scikit learn using this i just change it from the dots from the from the from period dots to uh, the dollar sign now we have a, a classifier object okay it's a svc uh, instance and then uh, that instance provide uh, the, a method called fit and uh, it accept two argument which is uh, x meaning the feature matrix and y which is the uh, labels okay and uh, in this case I just use the iris data set uh, provided by by R and um, the nice thing about Reticulate is uh, it can convert our objects, our data structure to Python automatically. But uh, at, at this moment, it cannot um, convert data frame, but it can convert uh, matrix from our matrix to uh, LumPy array. And also the, uh, the vector in R will be converted into a list in Python. So, um, I can just convert a data frame to a matrix, our matrix, and then use it uh, in Reticulate and then fit it into uh, uh, Python this way. Okay, after you fit it, it's just meaning train train that uh, tra uh, that machine learning algorithm from the SVM and then uh, we can use the uh, predict to get the predicted values and the results it generated from Python will be automatically converted into a vector in R so uh, you can still use it use a standard R function for example the table to uh, compare the results from uh, Reticulate, meaning from Python, so something like that. So, very interesting. And uh, this is another example, uh, which is the uh, work to work example. And uh, I will use a Python module called a GenSim, and uh, using the uh, work to work model. Work to work is a deep learning model. Uh, for 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 deep learning model for you to learn uh, the context of a word from a corpus of a large amount of data. So similarly, using import and then uh, convert all the dots uh, to dollar sign, and then similarly, I will uh, call a, a corpus 
for uh, learning uh, the context of a word. So I just downloaded the, the text eight corpus online and then import it uh, into the work to act and call it a sentence. And then I will use the uh, work to whack uh, method provided by the work to whack. And uh, the input is the sentences and uh, setting the size. Okay, it will take some time. Okay, after the training, we have the work to work model, and we can use that work to work model to find out uh, the context of a word. For example, the apple, and uh, it will show you the uh, most similar work words to apple. For example, Macintosh and uh, Ami uh, Amiga. Amiga is another old school. Uh, computer company, Intel, Atari, IBM, Hypercard. Hypercard is a technology from from Apple, Microsoft, PC, and uh, AMD, and also Nintendo. So uh, the return object from the uh, word to act is uh, is a dictionary. And uh, therefore, it, it converted into a list in R. So uh, similarly, okay. Another word is uh, PhD. Okay, find out the uh, most similar word to PhD. For example, doctoral, doctorate, Stanford graduate, Yale, Mellon. I believe it's uh, Carnegie Mellon. And a dissertation. Princeton, Cornell, professorship. If PhD equal to professorship, that will be a good thing. So, but actually, it's not. So, uh, you can convert it, the uh, list of lists uh, into a data frame using the standard data uh, using the standard function provided by R. For example, LDPy from prior, and. Uh, we can convert the 30 lists of lists into a data frame. So I think that this reticulate is really interesting. And um, even though I have a love and hate relationship with Python, but still it's, it's interesting. So that is actually meaning in the future, you can use a combination of R and Python seamlessly in R and uh, so that you can you don't need to use python for data science and uh, you can just use r for data manipulation and then use python for machine learning and then use r for uh, data visualization so that you get the best of both worlds using the reticulate so uh, let's move on to the next section which is this week in our tips Okay, this week in our tips, uh, I will show you how to use a, a function called anytime. Okay, uh, they anytime actually updated last week, and uh, everyone know it's very difficult to work with dates in R. And uh, previously we have loopy dates, and uh, loopy dates is not bad actually. For example, you have some dates in character, and you want to you 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 want to uh, pass it as a date in R. So if you're using Lubri date, you need to uh, specify the format of the, uh, of, the, of the date. For example, this one is year and then month and then date. So using the Lubri date function YMD and then run it, it will pass it into a date. Okay. And uh, similarly, if you have date, month, year, instead, for example, 28. You can use DMY, uh, which is mean date, month, and then year. Which is actually better than using something like uh, as date or as 
uh, P O S I X C T because you don't need to uh, 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 create a formatting string uh, in R. Uh, so just for the passing the date. But still, you you need to specify the uh, the, the the order of the, each element of of a date. So now we have any time. Any time is 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 the the goal of any time is to pass any date without specifying the formatting string. Uh, so for example, you have a date, a very regular date like this, and it will pass it to 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 uh, our date. And uh, if you have uh, DMY, but uh, this time it's not uh, all the lump, all, all, all in number. Some of the, for example, it's, uh, it's September, short form of September. And uh, use any time, you can still pass it. And uh, if you have the uh, have the time after the date, uh, it will automatically pass it as a date time. And uh, it also vectorizes. So if you have uh, a multiple dates, which is in an amb ambiguous format, uh, it's not in a fixed format, fixed order. You cannot use DMY or uh, YMD. You can use any time, and uh, you just pass it. It will uh, become a, a vector of uh, date. So uh, it's a good uh, date parser and uh, very convenient. So uh, if you need to work with data a lot, and uh, that will be very useful. So uh, once again, uh, this is the end of the This Week in R, and uh, we are the Hong Kong R user group. And uh, join us uh, on Facebook. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please share it with your friend, or even simply give, give, give me a thumb up. And uh, that will be very good. So, uh, okay, maybe we will see you next week. Bye bye.